respect the rights of other citizens. The police is equipped to respond appropriately to the unfolding situations and will get assistance from other security agencies, including the military, if the need arises. Now, the Nigerian military has won looters exploiting the Arslag and bad government's protests to stop destroying lives and properties. The Chief of Defence Staff General Christopher Musa described the devastation on the first day of the demonstrations as crazy and pledged to take action against further looting and destruction. Everywhere in the world is facing one economic or security crisis or the other. And so it's important to understand that we're not alone. But what we can do is not to allow criminals, individuals that have lost out to take advantage of this to destroy our country. We should realize that this destruction we're doing, monies have to be used. Monies for development will have to be used to repair this thing so that we can move forward. And so instead of doing that, we should come together, make sure nothing is destroyed. The statement, the message has already been passed to the federal government, the state government and the local government. The local governments are already in place. Uh, the president has already directed through the Supreme Court for the local governments to have direct funding from the federal government that will also assist. Please, Nigerians should look up to their local governments, their state governors. The federal government is doing its best. Everybody is putting their hands on them. We know we are challenged as a nation, but we know we will overcome working together as Nigerians. I want to appeal once again for the support of all Nigerians, to the federal government, to the state government, and to the local governments. Let us avoid anything that will bring us that will bring mayhem within our communities. Uh, yesterday, we have seen the level of destruction that has been carried just yesterday. And so you can imagine if this continues for so long. The armed forces and the entire military uh, security agencies will not stand by and see that to continue. The Defence Chief General Musa emphasised Nigeria's economic struggles and high living costs as uh, global issues and all Nigerians to be patient and allow the government to address these issues. Well, I'm sure everyone is disappointed with the outcome. Uh, clearly, the security forces have done extremely very well. I'm very happy to mention what the, especially the Nigerian police force, have shown a lot of professionalism, including where uh, members of the armed forces had to step in. But you can see that we have remained very professional in our conduct and will continue to do that. As long as the citizens also understand that there's a difference between peace and criminality. Uh, what we saw yesterday was at the beginning some semblance of a very peaceful uh, demonstration, but which was quickly taken over by a bunch of criminals that don't mean us well. And if you remember, we have warned that there are individuals that are ready to cause mayhem once this starts. And so we want to appeal to Nigerians to understand that the federal government is doing the best it can for the country. The country, the federal government, the present regime is just there for less than one year, one year, and it is uh, not possible for them to have solved every financial, economic, security situation within one year. But I'm sure everybody, if we are truthful to ourselves, efforts have been made and have continued to be made. We have seen policies that have been made to address the economic situation on the ground, including the security situation. Things are improving. We are not where we are, but I can assure you we're heading there. So want to warn those that are recalcitrant, those that don't want to listen, that will not fold our hands and see our country to be destroyed. We will take action, and the action we will take, we'll take it professionally. Anyone that is caught will be taken to the courts to be dealt with. Uh, so want to again, I want to thank you for coming, especially members of the media. And again, for the media, I want to also appeal I noticed throughout yesterday all the stations were hooked up to the occasion. This is not an election thing. Don't give them that coverage for them to feel because there are some of them are looking for just moments of, you know, being on the screen. Together, I can assure you we are going to win. And we are winning. And at least from today, we have seen the level that it has really gone down. Most state governors that decide to declare a state of emergency have called it off. And working together as Nigerians for Nigeria also. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.